Now, how about getting pregnant after breast cancer? Again, oh, they have estrogen sensitive cancer, can they get pregnant? Um, first of all, women who receive chemotherapy, there are studies that looked at five to 10,000 women stuff as such. If they survive and their functions return, there's no increase in overall anomalies in children. So these seem to be safe in that sense. A lot of oncologists uh, would ask their patients to wait for two years before they attempt pregnancy. They do that because they want to make sure that there, there are no rec recurrences and, and they're healthy enough to attempt pregnancy. Not because, especially in breast cancer, getting pregnant soon will do anything. Because studies have shown that you can conceive within six months of post chemo and survival rates are not reduced. However, if you have chemo, there are a lot of follicles that are not dead, but they are DNA damaged. So you need to wait for these follicles to be clean. And I showed you in the first slide, it takes three to six months to make the new follicles. That's why we asked them to wait about three to six months. But you don't want to conceive with an egg with severely damaged DNA and mutated DNA. Animal studies show that if you allow these animals to mate right after chemo, you get all these malformations. Obviously, we don't want to do that experiment in patients. Um, Another issue that we're dealing with obstetrics is uh, that you may encounter these patients receive certain drugs that could be uh, toxic to, for, for example, doxorubicin is cardiotoxic. When we are dealing with these patients, they're coming for service, etc. I always ask for cardiac evaluation because these drugs can cause cardiomyopathy. Maybe it's not obvious when you're not pregnant, but you're in pregnancy. There are drugs like leomycin that can cause pulmonary fibrosis. So you have to be alert about this the potential systemic effects uh, when they're coming back to have children. There are about maybe eight to 10 studies that looked at uh, recurrence rates after breast cancer in those women who conceived. And not, not a single one showed an adverse uh, effect. As a matter of fact, a study like this, a couple of studies like this shows a survival advantage. Here, the woman who conceived after breast cancer, here the woman who did not, and, and those who did conceive after breast cancer actually have better overall survival. Some suggest that while well, this is a selection healthy mother effect, because only the healthier ones are attempting pregnancy, but some studies control for that. So we do know that pregnancy is safe after breast cancer. There are also interesting potential complications of uh, breast cancer treatment. For example, transverse abdominal muscle flap. Sometimes they use this, uh, not as commonly now, but they can use the rectus muscle to reconstruct breast. That weakens the abdomen. They sometimes put a mesh there to fill the, the defect. And sometimes during pregnancy, there could be issues with hernias or abdominal balls. But another thing is when you do breast reconstruction on one side and the mother lactates, then that may result in breast asymmetry and you may have to do re reconstruction. And these are some of these. You know, here's a patient who had transverse abdominal flat, pregnant. You can see the you know, asymmetry here, but uh, uh, she just developed a uh, little uh, hernia here. 